do the waves mean, son of mine? These swells of salty outrage over which name tag you ought to pin to your chest. Are you autistic or do you have autism or are you merely affected by this condition, this blessing or this blight with ever shifting definitions? Who's right? I don't know and I'm weary of caring. What do the waves mean, son of mine? I watch you play tag with those frigid foam daydreams that grow and progress to your toes and, and for an instant I see them. Sandcastle visions of a typical future, the kind with graduations and nuptials and simple conversations about summertime. But the wave retreats, recedes, regresses, and again your voice is lost in recesses of silence staring at meaningless crashes of water upon the sand. What do the waves mean, son of mine? We watch you flap your hands in sines and cosines over shapes and colors, sending shocks of sheer delight. We tried to flap them with you, but the magic eludes us. Our experience excludes us from the poems of your palms and the fables of your fingertips. What do the waves mean, son of mine? The brain doctor shrugs at the ripples in your scans. What mysteries lie beneath the tranquil surface of your sea? Are they epileptic jolts that still your tongue from singing the melodies you can now only hum? Sometimes I flail in these oceans uncharted and sometimes I swallow the sea, but oh my dear boy, how you dog. Can you teach me how to wade these waters with winsome eyes and a laughing chin? Can you teach me to swim shirtless and shameless on my own pasty skin? Can I too blink away the incessant splatters and errant sprays that haggle over your name? Because you are not a disorder, my son. Not a blue puzzle piece on the clinical spectrum. But neither are you normal. No. You're a piece of God's own daydreams. A reflection of aching joy. No. You're not normal. You are... I love it.